This is the new way to putting the iPad or iPhone on internet using Ethernet without any use of Wi-Fi or mobile data or Bluetooth. What you need for this is the new Lightning to USB 3 camera kit from Apple. You need the old USB to Ethernet adapter from Apple. You need the power supply for which came with the iPad. You need of course power and an Ethernet connection coming from your router. Then you can turn it all on and see how you can get the iPhone or the iPad to internet. Let's demonstrate here. We start with the lightning camera kit and plug in the USB from the Ethernet adapter. Now you take the lightning and plug into the camera kit and plug in the power. Then you take the Ethernet cable, plug into the Ethernet adapter and when this has been connected you can take the lightning and plug in to the iPad. You see immediately it gives the noise and here comes the Ethernet has been connected. I can show immediately how we have Ethernet connection by showing you this video. What you see here is a really important video. I'm going to ask you three multiple choice questions. Use this device, use this device to answer. The first question is, how did the number of deaths per year from natural disaster, how does that change during the last century? Did it more than double? Did it remain about the same in the world as a whole? Or did it decrease to less than a half? Please answer, please answer, A, B or C. Now, these three things are not going to work. FaceTime, Apple Music or iMessage. At the current, we hope it will be fixed in a coming iOS update. If you want to have the iPad, which you see is currently quite close connected to the power and other cables with this big dongle, you can have it further away either by using a cable which came with your Mac to have the power further away or you can invest in a high quality lightning to USB extension cable and a USB high quality extension cable. These together will make your iPad able to be 3 meters away from the power and other things so that you will enjoy having it where you want to go in your sofa or whatever. It's a very nice way and very easy. Remember to buy the extension, the adapters everything at official Apple supplier stores. The USB Ethernet adapter has lots of fakes, especially at Amazon, so be sure you get the right one or it won't work. And yes, they're slightly expensive, but it's really worth it if you want to avoid any kind of radiation or annoyance with the Wi-Fi.